I'd like to talk about a more advanced way of exporting your clips from Media Composer that's going to open up more doors for you when sending your clips to applications not only like Adobe's After Effects, but DaVinci Resolve as well. Now, as you can see, I have a basic timeline with four clips in it that we want to send directly to After Effects and Resolve and retain our edits as well as all of the handles that go with them. So to do this, we're going to create another export preset. Let's right click on our sequence window and say export. Once we have the export window up, we're going to head back to our options. We're going to keep our export option as AAF, but I'm going to disable all the audio tracks. In most cases when working in After Effects, it's mostly a video only application, but if you wanted to, you could export a two channel wave or AIFF file to bring it to After Effects to use as a reference, and the same applies to DaVinci Resolve. Once we have just the video selected, we're going to change our export method from Video Mixdown to Link to Don't Export Media. I'm also going to disable the transcoding option. Let's say save. We're going to call this 4AE and Resolve. What we're going to do is say save and I'm going to save this to the desktop. Once I do, if I right click on this file and I say get info, you'll see that this AAF file is a whopping 520 kilobytes big. Now I do want to remind you that this technique that I'm showing you works exactly the same on both Mac and Windows. Let's now command and tab into Adobe's After Effects, Alt and Tab for all my Windows friends out there. Let's navigate up to File, let's come down to Import, and instead of selecting File, I'm going to select Pro Import for After Effects. Once the Pro Import window appears, I'm going to direct the file to our AAF file that's on the desktop, and inside of the Modify Settings option, you might have it set to create QuickTime reference movies to Avid Media files, but to be honest, I would rather it just connect directly from After Effects to the Avid Media files. I'm going to say OK. I'm simply going to say Open, and in a matter of seconds, I now have my Avid Media Composer timeline inside of After Effects, ready to work with, and you'll see that these clips even have handles so that if I need to get in and make any adjustments inside of After Effects, I have the flexibility to do that. Okay, so let me show you how this works inside of DaVinci Resolve. We're going to navigate up to File, we're going to come down to Import AAF EDL or XML file. Resolve is going to ask me where the AAF file lives. Again, this is the exact same AAF file that we had for After Effects. I'm simply going to say open. What's going to happen is, is that I'm going to be prompted by Resolve as to what do I want to call the timeline? What would I like the starting time code of that timeline to be? Do I want to have it automatically set the project settings? For our HD 1080p 23976 project, I'm going to leave everything set exactly the way that it is, and I'm just going to say OK. Again, in a matter of seconds, we now have our Media Composer timeline in Resolve, ready to start color grading in a matter of seconds.